What's up everybody? Blue Gate, we're with G3 Outfitters. We're on my black jack. We've got our old salties and we're catching big shell crackers, AKA red ears. Also catching big cichlids. It's blowing 25 miles an hour. We turkey hunted this morning and I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. Let's catch a few fish though. Look at that, look at that pan fish. My very first YouTube video ever was right here doing the same thing except we were catching bluegills. Now we're catching shell crackers. Big what do you one. got? I'm biggin', son. That's a biggin'. Oh, what a shell cracker. Look at that joker. Look Why at, are you over there in my spot? Look at his shoulders on this one. Look Let at me this move one. here closer. Look how thick he is. Yeah, you pan fishermen up north ain't got nothing on that. Big, thick. Look Get him in here before you lose him. Oh. The shoulders on this one. Oh. Tilapia hole. Number two, you guys, I'm trying to get cameras rolling and he's fishing. size of that red ear. That joker's huge. Yeah, you know we're gonna be eating good tonight. Oh, oh he come off. I'm big. You have one? I think it's big. Look at that. Voila! So there's giant tilapia out here and they make these deep beds so when you're walking you don't see them. Down you go. Oh he got one. You finally get That's one? a cichlid. Bring him over here. Oh, oh, double, double. Now this is pretty cool. Evan just caught a different species. It's a non-native species, but it's awesome to eat and crazy good to fight. Like these things pull, that little one he caught, it's about, I don't know, it's about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. We'll pull twice as hard as these shell crackers. Watch this tilapia hole. Oh, right there, the boom. Feet. Look at the size of that thing. Look how thick they are. Whoa. Now, for those of y'all wondering, Brad with G3 Outfitters, at G3 Outfitters on Instagram, he does charters for these. Oh. Y'all see that, right? It's the biggest one of the day. It's the biggest one for Blue Game. It's got to be four pounds. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. I tell you what, they are putting a hurting on these little beetle spins. Open that cooler, Brad. So you see, just a simple beetle spin. How many of y'all, leave a comment below if you grew up fishing with a beetle spin. All right, so right here's a pock. Look, 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 he's got him on. That's a big one. What do you got? A cichlid or a shell cracker? Uh, shell cracker. Oh my goodness, Woo! look at that one. Anyhow, right here there's pockets of fish. There's not huge areas, but there's lots of fish. So you gotta find those particular spots and keep making the same cast. They almost choked it. In a second, I'll get the GoPro and get Brad and them and I'll get behind and I'll try to show you what we're doing in the water. But you can tell the wind's screaming. It's shallow. We gotta also watch out for alligators because right here is where we catch all the big ones. And he just properly turned that one. <laughs> what just happened right there? Is that a catch and release? <laughs> I guess so. All right, watch this. I'm gonna go try to make the picture perfect cast and see if I can get one. Those of y'all looking for a new rod and reel, y'all often ask me what I use. All my rods are made by Favorite, Favorite Fishing. They make big ones, small ones, and everything between. This is an old salty, extra light, but just a little old, I don't know, old, some kind of Favorite reel. I gotta look at it exactly. And that's a shell cracker, but that's a little female. We're gonna turn her loose. All right, Brad, get down here and catch something. 
You ain't got to tell me twice. Hey, tell the camera what happened last year with the big snake. Uh, well, I don't know which one, but last year I was pulling a stringer behind me. Had, I don't know, 20 or 30 fish on it. And the snake literally went between my legs, wrapped around my legs, and had a bluegill halfway down his throat. <laughs> right here in the water. I screamed like a little girl. I'm not going to lie. Pound test. That's all you need doing this. Most people use monofilament, but you notice we're in all this grass and eel grass, semi grass, and sometimes you cast, you know, in it, around it, hang up in it. The braided line, real simple, just pop it out and, and keep going. So right here, I'm going to come in here. We've already fished this spot, but we know there's some fish left, and I'm going to just show y'all what type of habitat they're in. This Kazemi grass creates, oh, I just stepped in a hole. This Kazemi grass creates such a good habitat for them. Now, now that they're gone, that was one of my good friends, Wade Lightsey, and his wife, Sharana Lightsey. We pretty much all know each other. We all try to help each other out. They stopped by to say hi. Got you a cool little clip of the water. You guys, if I can give you one piece of advice, those power poles right there, fresh water, salt water, it doesn't matter where you're at. Those things save your booty. You don't need an anchor for the most part. The company power pole themselves, second to none if you have a problem with those power poles right there they will overnight you any of the parts it's absolutely insane time and time again if i've needed something little bushings or something i've actually never had them break boom at my house the next day boy this wind surely is jacking everything up Biggest one of the day. Look how big that thing is. You guys, look at that thing. Jump. Oh my goodness. Oh. GoPro in the mouth in a nice large mouth bass. How does it get any better? Check out that sea deck though, y'all. That stuff is top notch. Easy on your feet durable you can clean it with just normal soap they just did this to my boat and i'm telling you i'm blown away robert deer meat for dinner has it on his boat they went over and beyond on my boat though little fish scales my new little bg logo sea deck favorite 
BG. Yo, look at that. A heavy pad for your feet. A cell phone pad up there. Big tape measure, small tape measure. Look at that. I'm telling you, top notch. All right, y'all, we have done work on the shell crackers. Got a few cichlids. What is a Mayan cichlid? They're from down south somewhere. They're a non-native species. Caught a bass, caught a couple bluegill, didn't keep them because this is a shell cracker show. But I want you guys to understand one thing. Remember me commenting about the turkey hunt and the bad luck? This morning, Brad also does guided turkey hunts and he's one of the best and has some of the best ranches there are. I need y'all to focus and concentrate on what I'm about to tell you. He's got a ranch north of Okeechobee that has a giant cypress head through the middle. The most beautiful cypress head you've ever seen in your life. It has a creek flowing through the middle. It's just a natural flowing ecosystem that's native to Florida. We go through there. Brad roosted two gobblers last night that were across the fence on the other ranch. They always come to his side. They have they feed the cows out there and the turkeys come. Anyhow, long story short, we get in there this morning, we set up, turkeys are just hammering. Gobble, 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 gobble. Hammer, 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 hammer. I've got my camera set up. 20 minutes after daylight, the birds are coming. You can't see them on camera, but you can hear them. They're coming. I hear a buggy coming from the horizon. And if you watch my last video, my hog video, you know what a swamp buggy is. And here he comes. All of a sudden, he floors it. This happens. Y'all just watch this. <laughs> Did that just happen? Look at the hogs running across there. Look at them all running. So much for that idea. I hope no hogs are in between us and them right now. Brad, explain to everybody what just happened. Yeah, crazy. I only got the tail end of the shooting, the first series of shooting. Hogs squealing, hogs running everywhere. He now drives straight to where the turkeys were. Of course, they're already gone. They're out of the house. See you later. And commits to shooting again. Bullets zinging by our heads. One of the craziest events ever. And our turkey hunt was done, just like that. We put our heads down, and here we are fishing. So you guys, just keep your head up, keep going. This coronavirus will be over before we know it. Hopefully y'all are all safe. We'll see you back at Brad's house because we're going to cook these fish tonight, right now, this evening. See ya. All right, y'all, this is your tech tip of the week. We got all the way down there. We were like nine miles from the boat ramp, and that lake is nasty rough right now, and my tilt and trim wouldn't work. I, it was tilted about halfway up, and it wouldn't go down or up. Right here on all outboards, there's a flathead screwdriver head right there. It's a bolt, but you need a flathead and you loosen it and the motor will fall down. Guess what? That's a macro lure. That's a pair of pliers. I took the hook off, used that, and I jerry-rigged it and we got home. So if you're ever in a bind, think outside of the box. All right, I lied. We came back to the Marathon Fast Break to clean these fish because Brad didn't want to do it at his house. He's, he's a little sensitive. Look what we got though. All right, so all I did was took the scales off. Already did it though. Didn't want to sit there and waste time for the video doing that. All I'm gonna do is cut its head off. Take a little bit of guts out. I left that chunk because that's a good piece of meat. Bam. Same thing with him. The bass, we're not gonna clean whole. So we're running out of light. It's just like any other fish. Just come right down his backbone. 
right out his tail. Play just like that. So, we got bass, we got shell cracker, and cichlid. Now we're gonna head to the house to see which one tastes the best. All right, y'all, we're in b -Rad's kitchen here in Okeechobee, Florida. We got bass, cichlid, shell cracker, or red ears, some of y'all call them. Mm. So a lot of y'all that live in South Florida with the cichlids, they're in every ditch, every canal, every pond, and they are super good eating. But we're gonna see which one of the three is the best. Mm -hmm. What are you putting on there? It's a little Lowry's garlic salt. Just a little bit. What are you going to fry the corn to? Oh, yeah. Never had fried corn? Uh-uh. We're going to do them all at the same time. Put it in there. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up. Got our grease already at 375, 350. We'll do the two, two pan fish first. Here we go. Oh yeah. What temperature is your grease? About 360, 370 right now. Y'all leave a comment below and tell me your best story as short as you can on a pan fishing trip when you were young with your grandma, your grandpa, your dad. As quick as you can, as short as you can, your coolest memory about panfish. Here we go. Drain the grease off of them, the oil. Let them sit there. Who can tell the difference now? And you, Gabe? Yeah. Which one's which? The one on the left is the cichlid. Oh, yeah. The meat's more orange. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with the corn? We're gonna fry it also. In so batter or just plain? Just plain, just like it is. Take it out, sprinkle a little salt on it, a little butter. Why are you looking over my left shoulder? The audience do is they in remember, here. They're actually putting bunny ears behind your head. <laughs> you didn't see that part. What's up, good? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here, here, I was born ready. Here comes the bass. Oh, yeah. What was it, about three minutes at 350 degrees? Maybe three minutes, probably two and a half. It was a small bass. The small ones taste the best. I know it. Only kind I eat. When I eat. Show us what you do with the corn. Pretty much the same thing. Just raw corn. Nothing on it. Nothing on it. Same way. Here we go. You need to take a little bit longer than fish. I've never had fried corn before, y'all. Now, back to G3 Outfitters. That's Brad. That's his charter business. And he does Osceola hunts and alligator hunts for me. All y'all looking to book an alligator hunt with me, you'll actually be booking it with Brad. His charters for... You can go catch these fish with him at any time. He does crappie, bass, both artificial and natural bait. Crappie fishing, pretty much everything you can do here. So check Brad out. All right, let's see this corn. Here we go. Look at that. Nice and golden. In there about four or five minutes. Ready to go. I'm just about as excited for that corn as I am anything. Butter. Leave a comment below and tell me if you've ever fried corn. I haven't, but I'm definitely excited to eat it. Mm. All right, y'all. It's time to taste some fish. Look at this. Brad, sit right here, and we're going to try it together. Mmm, mmm. Here Pass we go. me that crystals. I'm going with the cichlid first. Look at that, it just falls right off the bone. Mmm. I'm going the opposite. I'm going with the bass. Ooh, it's hot. That piece of fish. People don't even think to eat cichlid, and that cichlid is as good as any piece of fish you'll put in your mouth. I had some guys the other day that were throwing them back. What the heck's wrong with you? Have y'all lost your minds? I took the same section out of the shell cracker.
I can't taste the difference. I can't taste the difference of any of them. They're all good. Look, I cannot. I'd have to do it all over again and try to pick something up. I can't do it. And I took my time and tried. You guys, that's proof. That's three common fish, one heck of a meal. And we got a bunch more. Amy's going to eat. Blaine, his buddies here, they're going to eat. I want another piece. I can't taste the difference. It's all good. It's all so good, though. Take your kid fishing. Take your wife fishing, your grandma, your mom, your dad, somebody. Just go fishing. Go fishing by yourself. But thanks for watching. Right here. Hey. See if Nova's approved. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. That fish was so good, y'all. Not even exaggerating. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to try that corn real quick. Let me, let me try this corn. It may be hot. That's pretty good. Is it too bright? Yeah. Mmm. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. That's pretty unique, too. And as Amy reminded me, I always forget to ask y'all to subscribe. So if you're new to the channel, reach up there and hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. Then you'll always see when I upload fresh right the next day. Because if you follow me on Instagram and you study what I do, I always upload the next day. You'll never see me do anything much more than two days old. So subscribe. We got plenty of cool stuff coming. The surprise that was supposed to be in today's video got pushed back about four days because of the coronavirus. No big deal. I'm not going to panic. It's coming. But like Jake always says, it's time to end this video right now and get the heck up out of here. We're getting out of shape. See y'all.